Greetings folks, it is a very big day here at Newton Airlines. I finally got my hands on a 3D printer. This is the Creality Ender 3 from Banggood. Why have I gone for the Ender 3? Well, it's one of the cheapest and it's the most popular 3D printer around. So there is a massive information available on YouTube, on the internet about how to set it up, how to deal with any problems. So I thought that's the safest way to do it. Let's have a look at what we've got. Creality, ah, Creality, Create Reality. That's where the name comes from, I think. Creality 3D Ender 3 V-Slot Prusa i3 3D printer. The print size is 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters. Takes 1.75 millimeter uh, filament and has a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. These things don't mean much to me at the moment because I have no experience with 3D printers at all. So you'll be experiencing this through my newbie eyes. I'm not going to show how to build it because as I said, there are sensational videos about uh, assembly, uh, which are much better than I can ever, ever do. And I'm going to follow them. I'll put links to them in the description too. Printing speed, less than 180 millimeters per second, normal speed 30 to 60. Printing precision plus or minus 0.1 millimeters. Nozzle diameter standard is 0.4 millimeters, but can be 0.3 or 0.2. How do you operate it? Via an SD card that you plug into it. Uh, so you'll download files or create files, put them on the SD card, then plug them into the machine. So you don't need to be uh, connected to a computer, but you can connect it to a computer and sort of run it from there. Slicing software, this is the software that uh, sort of provides the information for the printer to, to actually do the printing. Slicing software, Cura, which is the one I'll be using. It's a free download, uh, compatible with PC or Mac, so there's no dramas there. Or Simplify 3D. I actually bought this one from the Australian warehouse, but it's also available in China and USA warehouses, of course. Now, the machine itself weighs about 7 kilograms, so it's not a light machine. Uh, can print 1.75 PLA, ABS, TPU, wood, copper, gradient. Again, these things mean nothing to me. I'll have to learn all about them and I'll pass them on to you. All right, so what I will do is show you what's in the box, show you how it comes, and then I'll put it all together and I'll come back and we'll do some 3D printing. So we're all assembled, it's all leveled and squared up and I've actually done my first print which is this basic leveling, level checking uh, print, just a few mm, fractions of a millimetre thick and if it sticks to the plate in all corners and looks reasonably good then you know you've leveled it all correctly. The printer comes with an SD card and on the SD card is, is the instruction manual. Uh, this test print isn't on there, you can download that, I'll show you the link to that uh, and a few other quick test prints but the printer doesn't come with enough PLA uh, to start off with. This is all you get, it's sort of good for setting up I guess. Uh, so you're going to need to order yourself some PLA so I'll put a link to where I've ordered mine from, hasn't arrived yet so I can't print anything big but maybe ask other people in your area where they get their stuff from so that would be a good idea. Now. The construction video I followed was made by a guy called Jim on a video channel called The Edge of Tech and it's a fantastic build video. It's based on the uh, user guide which has been put together by a guy called Luke Hatfield. Very, very thorough user guide for the uh, Ender 3 printer. And I'll put a link to Luke's user guide. Anyway, this guy Jim has used Luke's user guide to uh, come up with a really good uh, build video 
for the printer, make sure it's all square, make sure the bed's level. Uh, now, one thing, if you're going to follow that build, uh, it actually adds some uh, nuts under the bed here to stabilize it even more, which don't come with the kit. So they're just 4M nuts. So if you want to follow that properly, get yourself 4 4M nuts. I just had to happen to have some in my collection, so that was fine. So basically we're ready to go. It was quite an easy build. It's all uh, really well made, fits together beautifully. All the bits are there and they give you sort of spare screws and spare clips and things like that, which is great. I highly recommend uh, Jim's performance assembly build video. Link in the description, of course. And I'm pretty much ready to print something as soon as my uh, filament turns up. Right, it's the moment of truth, time to do uh, my first 3D print. What I'm going to do is a camera mount for the little VC uh, 400 or 600 video transmitter on the Zod Dart 250. Uh, it's a print by one of my YouTube followers called Justin Davies. Uh, thanks very much Justin, very timely, your little post there. I downloaded Justin's STL file. So now what we have to do is take Justin's STL file, which is the 3D model file, and convert it into G-code so that the printer knows what to do. Uh, so I've downloaded uh, Cura, which is a slicer program recommended. Uh, it's a free download for all the different platforms, so no problems running it on my Mac. And I have set it up uh, for the Creality Ender 3 printer. Uh, with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle and everything else is standard. What we do now is open Justin's STL file and the model shows up in Cura. Then we click on slice and that generates the g-code. Then we take that g-code file and save it onto the, S the printer SD card. Put the g-code file onto the SD card now I'll put it into the machine. Now there's one little tip I learnt there, trying to put the SD card in. I actually managed to slot it in above the SD card reader and it pushed right into the box there. So I had to stop everything, take this lid off, just three, three screws to undo that and retrieve the SD card and make sure it was in the SD card reader and not inside the motherboard enclosure. There you go. So now I'm uh, preheating the PLA. This one here. So that's pretty much ready now. Hopefully I've got enough PLA left. And we shall let the games begin. Now it's heating up the bed to 60 degrees. This print should take uh, 45 minutes I think, so I'll do a time lapse as well. Extruder heating, it's heating up to 200 degrees. These are all just preset values, I haven't changed any of these. And here we go.
So there we have it, all done. What a thing of beauty. That worked absolutely perfectly. That looks so sharp and accurate and beautiful. That was absolutely mesmerizing watching that. I'm sure you don't watch every print that you do. This one only took 45 minutes or 40, yeah, 45 minutes. But that is going to be a perfect little mount for the camera here. When it cools down, I have to let it cool down first, then I'll pop it off and uh, have a closer look. But uh, that's brilliant, my first 3D print. Thanks so much Justin Davies for uh, designing this piece and sharing it with me. It's absolutely brilliant. Of course now I have to see how to get it off. Ah, oh, there we go. It just pops off nicely. Look at that. That is absolutely stunningly accurate and beautiful. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. That's a lovely fit. There you go. That's what it's all about. Magic. So there we go. That's the Creality Ender 3. Uh, my first foray into 3D printing. I can highly recommend it. It uh, went together beautifully. As long as you follow that edge of tech construction video, you should be absolutely fine. I think problems can occur when belts loosen off or the uh, bed gets out of level or, or you've uh, constructed it a little bit out of whack, but uh, I'm having no problems at all at the moment. It's just printing perfectly. I was a bit nervous about going into 3D printers because I thought there's so much to learn with the uh, designing and uh, problems with the printing and all that sort of stuff but I haven't found any problems at all. I haven't done much designing in 3D so that's all to come in the future and I'll share that with you. Uh, some... But my thoughts if you're at all interested in 3D printing then try the Ender 3. It seems to be fantastic to me. Thanks for watching.